Hello beautiful Leo, welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Leo. I'm going to get started with your spiritual growth, your personal development, healing, and guidance, and then I will flow into your romantic love life reading. So I'll timestamp in the comment section down below when your love reading begins. So I was getting into your energy and I thought of mixing. I kept seeing you being mixed in another energy, mixed in something, but you are being spun because I kept seeing this energy as if you're being spun into something very quickly like a spiral like you're in this spiral frequency right now where there are other energies that are connected to you or somehow attached to you and you're going through this spiral which is to me it's coming through like a mixer but what's happening is that you're being separated from these other energies you're being detached from these other energies you know when you spin something really quick really quickly like i'm thinking of a dryer when you put your clothes in the dryer and you put it on the spin cycle you spin out all of the moisture you spin out all of the dampness all of the energies that are heavy that are dense and you're left with a very light warm feeling energy right warm feeling clothes so it's almost like you're spinning out you're releasing you're detaching from things that are heavy heavily attached to you um you're you're in a mixer right now <laughs> is what i'm getting uh so let's just go let's just go um you do have here the knight of materials There's something about your climate, Is I don't know why I'm saying that. Yeah, okay. There's something about your climate and then I'm looking at the Hermit card and I'm seeing a desert. Because um, I'm looking at the cactus that is above this Knight of Pentacles. There's something about your adaptability. You do have here the lovers. What do you want to say about their climate? Hold on, let me get all your cards out. You do have your strength at the bottom, that's you. You have here the awakening card, that's judgment. You have here temperance, you have here the sun, and you have here the six of voices. Some of you, your climate is shifting, your climate is changing. This has something to do with your vibration, okay? You're no longer being in a certain temperature. There's something about a temperature, because I'm seeing here a temperance. Um, it's to gear down the temperature. There's something that you are gearing down because something was like too hot, something was too much, something was in excess with your energy, or excess of other people's energy others were um i don't know if there was their influence i don't know but it was like this excess energy that was being put on you and it created like too much too much excess excess heat excess energy excess information energy that's in excess so you're being put through this the the spinning cycle to get rid of that energy and it's like now you are in this moderate temperature now this moderate energy this moderate temperature is like your your frequency your your energy here that's really shining through without all of that other excess energies okay so I think that's like the climate. You're adapting to your own energy, vibrational, and I'm, I'm using the word climate, okay? It's like that's what you're adapting to. You're adapting to a climate, okay? And it's your vibration that you are adapting to, okay? So that's how um, they're just positioning it to me. <laughs> so when I say climate, I'm saying your vibration that you are feeling that you are embodying okay um because being in the others feeling all the others it was like really messing up with your climate really messing up with your vibration 
putting it out of sync, putting it out of balance, putting it out of balance. It was it's too much. It was too much. It was an excess. Okay. It was an excess. Um, erratic, irrational, um, temp like really short tempered, short fused. You could be feeling like that or other people might have been feeling like that towards you or you've been noticing that amongst people that you've been communicating with. It's because they changed the temperature. They changed the temperature of your climate, of your vibration. So now it's like you're taking that back. You're taking that, you're claiming your vibration. Now you have the power to shift the climate's temperature, to shift your vibration, right? To suit whatever experience that you are having. You've definitely learned to adapt. Okay, there's something about your adaptability that is also increasing. You've learned to adapt in others' energy. It's time to learn to adapt to your energy, they're saying. Okay, because I'm staring, I'm, again, I'm standing here and I'm just looking at this beautiful cacti and I just feel like this great sense of adaptability, like really taking the heat, really taking, um, I don't know, I just, I just feel like there's a lot of adaptability with this energy. You can really take the heat. You can really take any kind of like, you can take on a lot. But in that sense of taking on a lot, you actually lose sight of who you are. You lose sight of your energy. Um, so now this cacti needs to adapt because I'm seeing you as like the cacti. Now you need to adapt to your vibration without all of the other energies in excess. It's just like, I also feel that you have this energy within you that you feel like you've had enough of something. And I'm also like really focused on how the light is hitting this person's mouth, okay? And their nose, just the bottom of their nose and their mouth. So this is really about speaking from your heart, speaking from your heart, speaking authentically, okay? You've adapted so well for so long in other people's energies, kind of like masking your own in taking in taking their light, in taking their energy, in taking their problems, in taking their... I almost wanted to say like in taking their voices too. Some of you it left you with some with confusion too of what is my voice here or where is my voice here. Some of you you've been feeling like you haven't been heard in the community or you haven't been heard in um, family dynamics, friendship dynamics, work dynamics. There's something about your voice and needing to be heard, but you need to hear yourself first. Without all of the excess, without all of the noise. I'm seeing this energy here that is um, these hands are actually pushing up on this beautiful flower on the on the lotus. It's actually they're pushing it up, right? Just very similarly to this energy here that is coming out. Your spirit, your light, your shine, your voice of truth is coming out. You're speaking out. Just like these energies are pushing out on this energy, pushing the lotus flower up to the surface, pushing it up. Do you see that? I feel like as this, as this energy is pushing up, this is what's lifting. Okay, do you see that? This energy is being pushed up 
as you push this up, this energy is actually being lifted and taken away. That's that excess energy that I was seeing in the, in the spin cycle <laughs> vision that they showed me. As this energy comes in, there's a new enlightenment here that is being received within you. This is your own energy, your own vibration. It's like you can feel the temperature of your own light. You can understand like what temperature you are, like what, what vibration you are, right? And it's almost like a really powerful discernment of what energy and what vibration, what temperature, what climate other people are on. So you can use discernment like this is this is mine. This is what my energy feels like. This is what my um, climate feels like. And you can use discernment when other people come towards you to help them, to assist them, to um, help them in whatever healing capacity that you have helped them on. But it's like always kind of like keeping a distance. Okay, keeping a distance, like keeping that boundary, right? Okay, because I feel like before it was like too much. It was too much. That's where this temperance energy comes in to balance, to counterbalance these energies. Okay, so now there's like a gap. Now there's like some distance. Now there are some boundaries, okay, um, with the energies. And it's actually bridging you bridging you to another to another energy you're being bridged to another energy that is meant for you that is for you to experience okay now you're able to like cross over to another world or to cross over to understanding other worlds excuse me um other energies other dimensions other beings it's like you're really understanding who you are and when you understand who you are you speak your voice of truth you create those boundaries okay from other people you moderate the temperature, you moderate the climate for your energy to grow and flourish in. You actually found, a, you, you, you found another energy. They keep saying that to me. It's another, it's another energy that's like calling you, that's calling, that you feel called to, to explore. This is an experience that's like for you it's for your benefit right because you feel called somewhere you feel called somewhere so let's get some more energy on that what is that new energy here what is this new energy you do have here the five of emotions You have here the night of inspiration. One more, please. Oh, I got two. All right. You have the world, the cosmos, and then you have here the seven of voices. Night of inspiration and the five of emotions. See this other energy, okay, this bridge that you have built. I feel like you have built this bridge, okay? Or because of all of the energies that you have disconnected from that you're creating this gap with now, okay, you're able to see you're able to now see the see a bridge, okay, to an energy that's calling you to explore and it has everything to do with your emotions okay see it's calling you to explore another world to another world that is within yourself okay to another world that's within yourself that's opening up it's interesting because 
I see this as ice that is melting. I have an ice box where my heart used to be. I forget who sings that song, but I just hear I have an ice box where my heart used to be. So it's almost like this ice box where your heart used to be is melting. There are some um, emotions that have been iced over. Iced over. Okay, so they haven't been looked at in a very long time. When you think of Ice Age, right? It's like they have been preserved under these energies that haven't been looked at. They haven't been acknowledged. They haven't they haven't brought the sun the sun you haven't brought the sun to it. You haven't bring you haven't brought in your light to it. Your sun was focused on all of the other energies and it was creating so much excess on top of your energies. You needed to, because you you came out with the strength card, right? Here you are again, Leo energy. You needed to shift the sun's light. You needed to shift the sun's light. And you know what? It's not selfish to do that. It's not selfish to say for a moment in time, I need to shift the sun's light and put it here instead of, towards other people because when you shifted when you when you were focused when all of these other energies that you were putting the light on whatever excess energies that have 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 been occurring in your life in your current or your in your current situation or your past uh recent past Remember what we were talking about? It became too hot, too much, too excess. When you put the sun onto other people, you only created shade for yourself. You weren't in the light. You were in the you were in the shade. You were in the dark. Now look where the sun is pointing. The sun is pointing at you. The sun is pointing at you. When the sun, when you shift the sun's light to be pointed at you, your emotions become visible. They, this light, the sun's light, melts the sun. Melts the sun. Oh, what am I saying? This sun's light melts the ice. Excuse me. Melts the ice. <laughs> melts the sun. Uh whoops, <laughs> no, we're not melting the sun, <laughs> melts the ice, excuse me, okay, and your emotions begin to flow, your emotions will begin to flow, these are emotions that need to be visited, you need to visit them, I feel like that's what the seven of swords here, seven of voices is talking to me about, right, what, where do we see this light at the mouth? seven of voices there's something that has been blocked here your throat chakra this is this is your voice of truth you need to go in this door you need to go in this door and explore it see what it is see what emotions have been blocking you from speaking your truth from speaking your authenticity this is like an invitation from your from yourself to hey shift that sun pointed at pointing at you point it here point it within because there's a whole world right here that's wanting to be explored within you it's going to ignite a lot of energy a lot of pent up energy too this energy this ice that is being melted by the sun's light by your light is going to melt and create a lot of inspiration it's going to flow it's going to flow it's also um an alchemical transmutation so this is energy that is going to be utilized for movement for growth for momentum okay it's very fast moving energy so you're gonna feel your energy rise your energy shift as well okay um i'm also feeling this exploratory energy exploring the world exploring within um traveling um 
traveling within yourself, traveling dimensions, <laughs> exploring other worlds, opening that door to explore other worlds, that bridge, seeing the bridge to other worlds, and also physical travel for some of you. There's also something very aquatic about this energy right here. And then now I'm, I'm seeing the water here. It's almost like... It's almost like this energy here returns to its form. There's something about returning to form, returning to the element to the natural element do you see that i feel like this just kind of flows into its natural element it reverts back into its natural source for you to explore and for you to flow in It also like creates a new world for you too. It's something that I'm seeing because this is one state that it is in, but when it melts, it turns into, again, it's natural waters, it's natural form, and it formulates like a new picture. It formulates a new world. It formulates a new place, a new energy um, for you to experience. It's something very different. It's a, it's a really interesting shift in your energy. Um, something very healing, something very powerful. This is a power, powerful a powerful shift for you um, because this does feel like a long time coming. This feels like you've been in this energy for quite some time. Okay, it's time to turn the sun's light to face you. Okay? Okay, that was your spiritual growth reading. So I hope that it resonated. Um, I'm going to get into your love reading now. Okay, so I'm just going to use the traditional tarot. Um, I just want to sip on my coffee first. If you don't mind. Well, actually, it's it's not coffee. It's um, tea chino. A beautiful subscriber told me about it because I was talking about how I'm trying to give up coffee so it's it's actually pretty tasty okay yum okay <laughs> um yeah let's just go to the tarot for Leo and their love life okay you do have here the king of pentacles there you are again <laughs> the king of pentacles as the overall energy ace of cups ten of cups Right off the bat, Leo. Happy season. Oh, sorry, all the cards fell. Let's do that again, Spirit. Oh, okay. There's some, um, another ace, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, Leo. All right, where are you off to? magician the five of wands the five of cups there's that five of cups energy again it was in your um, spiritual growth message and again you do have your the seven of cups 
or sorry, the seven of cups, again, the five of cups. Okay, and last card, please, spirit. Judgment, oh, okay, two wanted to come out. Judgment with the Page of Swords, Eight of Cups at the bottom, Knight of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords, the Chariot, Nine, Nine of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. Some of you walked away from a cancer or a cancer could have walked away from you, moved on. For others of you, you recently, in the recent past, okay, or in your current situation, there is someone that has left your life. You walked away from them. They walked away from you. You're currently single at this time. Okay. There's something that you are moving towards. There's someone new that you're moving towards is what I'm seeing here. I am seeing that someone from the past is still thinking of you, wondering about you. There's so much conflict in this situation. Five of Wands. I do see that you're trying to manifest something new, okay? I do see you trying to um, get away from a situation that has um, created a lot of resistance in your life, Re resisted love from coming in, resisted happiness, joy, stability from coming in. Like you have all of these wonderful cards here in the first row, the Ace of cups the ace of pentacles the ten of cups with the magician okay and then the bottom is this recent past person or a person that you are currently dealing with everyone's timeline is different please use your discernment of where you are in a reading when it comes to time there is someone here page of swords judgment Five of Cups, Seven of Cups, Five of Wands. Do you see all that? Do you see how different those energies are? I feel like you're, to be honest, I feel like you're trying to rise above something. Okay, because here with the Judgment card, this is all about resurrection and rising above. And I'm seeing the Magician card right on top of it. You're trying to rise above a situation and you're trying to manifest something differently. That's what I see you doing. That's why all of these cards are with the Magician. And all of these other energies are sitting here with judgment. You're this is what you're trying to rise free from. This is what you're trying to free yourself from. This is what you're trying to rise above. Okay? Do I see this past person coming back? No. Because I don't see you manifesting them. I see you manifesting something new. Right? Two aces. Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups, you're moving away from the situation. That is what I see. Okay, that this is the group that I'm picking up on. Now, again, um, we all have free will. This is just what I see, okay? I don't really want to go into too much details. I don't know why. They're kind of like, there's so much um, anxiety. Maybe I feel like I'm kind of picking up on your energy, but I do need to talk about it because this energy needs to be transmuted. So just bear with me. There's a lot of um, anxiety around this past person. There's a lot of um there were a lot of challenges, okay? There was a lot of smoke and mirrors. I'm seeing the smoke that's around all of these cups. Someone gave you a lot of smoke and mirrors or presented something that wasn't. They would give you half truths instead of the full truth. So that's why I'm saying this smoke and mirror energy. They showed you 
or told you that there was a life, that there was happiness, that there was joy in the future, but they were showing you a pretty picture. This was the pretty picture that they painted, but it wasn't what was real. It wasn't what was actual. Okay. I just see, I, I just feel a lot of anxiety and a lot of conflict around this situation. I'm very sorry that that was something that you went through. I'm, I'm very sorry that this is still an energy that is here in your space. However, I do see you moving through that and getting past that, okay? I do. I really see you doing that, okay? Um, all my love goes out to you. Please know that you deserve love. Please know that you deserve everything that you give in return. I am seeing that this past person or this current person still thinks of you. Um, they wonder about you. And I think this is probably why it's they are their energy is here. Um, you might probably feel them energetically and I feel like this is really about reclaiming your personal power and reclaiming your strength over the situation like I said you're rising above it um, and I see that you're moving forward you're moving away and you are going towards someone new I feel like you are extremely focused on the things that you are growing. You're very intentful with all of the things that you are doing here as you're coming out as the king of pentacles and the magician frequency. This is Virgo energy to me. You could have Virgo in your chart. It doesn't have to be. Um, you are very intentful. Okay, so you're when you're filled with intent and focus, you are a very powerful magic manifester. You're a map shifter. You're literally shifting your reality um, based on what it is that you want from the heart, okay? And you need to believe that you deserve it, right? So I do see that you are manifesting a very beautiful reality for yourself here. You're putting in all of the spiritual energies. You're putting in all of the seeds of intentions. Um, I also see that you are laying down a border or you're laying down the laws. I kind of feel like this is. Um, it's almost like you're building up structures here. Creating like blockages from this past person, from this um, or maybe current person for some of you that you're trying to release, that you're trying to overcome, that you're walking away from. This is a new person coming towards you. As you can see, your head is down. You're focused on other things. You're focused on your intentions. You're focused on new abundance. You're focused on your stability. You're really focused on your stability here as the King of Pentacles. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles. You're looking for stability. You're, you're building that, okay? And you're also looking for that joy within yourself and that's exactly what's going to mirror in a partner and this is this energy that's coming in your your partner is coming in as the knight of cups energy okay um this is i feel that they are very genuine i feel like they're going to come towards you when you are working and or when you are doing something that you love um you are tending to something that is very special to you and they're seeing something that you are doing um, and they admire what you are doing they're admiring what you are building they admire what you what you say what you do what you have built what you are building this person is admiring you some some of you they're admiring you right now it's just a matter of time it's a matter of time um with that magician frequency um because you're calling this in, right? You're rising above a previous situation and all these energies um, that make you feel um, anxiety, that make you feel worried, that make you feel sad or regret, okay? I don't know who feels regret, you or the other person from the past, but someone here also feels regret. So you're rising above all of those energies, okay? And there's someone here that you are attracting. 
because you're rising above that you're rising above that and you're tuning into another frequency okay and this person is admiring you right now i can see them admiring you watching you listening to you as you build or as you do something some of you this is in the near future okay again everyone's timelines are different so um this could be an admiration in the near future where they're going to see you doing something I'm also really focused that this person has like wings on their hat. They have wings on um, their boots. This person's very genuine, honest. They're, they have a good heart. I'm seeing a lot of um, like mountains, like hills, you could like live where there's a lot of hills or mountains right now or going to be or the person that you are going to be connected with um, lives around that, lives around very mountainous and hilly areas, also lives by the water or they visit the water frequently, rivers. This person is going to cross, cross your path. Um, it's very all divine timing, but definitely because you have manifested them, they've also manifested to you. Okay, what you seek is seeking you. I'm seeing a river that they are approaching, that they are approaching. I do see that energy as um, then them coming to the understanding of how they feel about you. This is, I'm talking about this new person, okay? This whole thing is <laughs> um, what I've been talking about for the past couple of minutes. It's all about the new person. Some of you, they already see you. They're aware of you, okay? Again, that could be in the near future for some of you. All right, that's what I have for your love life, okay? Um, I do see that that's going, that this new person is going to be a, a new relationship, okay? Especially here with the Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles with that Magician and the Knight of Cups, okay? I do see a relationship beautiful i love this reading for you leo i hope that it resonated i love you guys with all my heart again happy birthday to all of the beautiful leos out there have an amazing season until next time